What's up guys? Welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So with iOS 15.4, there's quite a number of major new features and changes that this update has to offer. And here are all of those. Now, if I just want to show you that I've been updated to iOS 15.4, you can see here your device is up to date and it's iOS 15.4. So the first change that i want to show you that came with this update and this one is actually quite major because it helps or changes the way you have to unlock your device when you are wearing a face mask so as you can see here ios 15.4 now introduces the ability to use a face mask and be able to use face id at the same time now the way you are going to be able to enable this feature you have to go into your settings and then go to where it says passcode and face id and then click there input your passcode and then if you scroll down a little bit just above the section that says unlock with apple watch you'll be able to see the section that says unlock with uh use face id with a mask and this works irregardless of whether you are using your apple watch or not it just now scans your eyes instead of using the apple watch so for this since you are not seeing this on my iphone here this is an iphone x and for this to actually work you need an iphone 12 or newer so the supported device uh, series are the iphone 12 series and the iphone 13 series series if you have advice other than that it seems like you know apple hasn't yet got around to adding those devices and that is something that we'll see in the future now hopefully they add all those past devices like the iphone 11 and the other change that i want to bring to your attention when it comes to this update is that it adds support for standard 14 so that gives us about 37 new emojis so these are some of the emojis that you are seeing here and just to show you that they are here and they are supported this is tech hyped one of my fellow youtuber friends you can always check out his channel so these are some of the new emojis you can see this melting face you can see this covering face you can see the salute face you can also see this face that looks like a moon this slanted face is also new and also if you scroll all the way and you know just uh, observe some of the uh, emojis that we have you'll be able to see that some have been changed and are not completely new so some of them were existing but they've just added more color depth and variations to some of these emojis and all in all like i mentioned there's about 37 new emojis that have been added with this standard 14 support so that is something that's good for those that text a lot you can take advantage of this and also something that i would like to mention if you game a lot and you actually have the ps5 or the Pl sony playstation 5 dual sense controller you can always add it in your bluetooth settings so once you've added the device you now actually have the ability to use or utilize the adaptive triggers now by adaptive triggers it's those you know triggers that are on the bottom or the top of the uh, controller so now with ios 15.4 it has finally added support for this so that is something that's good and you can always check it out now also with this update if you have airports i'm just gonna open my airports here there's a change when it comes to the text of the airports so the text has been made bold and let me just go ahead and open my airports you can see you can see here how it looks benjamin's airports pro and this text is really bold and depending on the series of the airports you have you might actually see your airports connect slightly faster than before so that is an update that has been made with this update and it's really a good one also with ios 15.4 if you use the health app quite a lot and you are in a region that's slowly adding vaccine records in the health so they are moving to the smart health system you'll be able to see your vaccination records and medical records within the health app but for now it seems like it's still up in the air for which regions are supported and which ones are expected to be added so keep an eye on it and you'll be able to see this in the future if your region is added now 
also if you go into settings and you go to your iCloud you'll be able to see that you know there's a, a keychain section there and if you have a bunch of passwords that you select so you see that iCloud keychain keeps information like your Safari username and password so with iOS 15.4 it actually adds the ability to be able to add notes it could be notes that are giving you a hint about your passwords and so on so this has been added with this uh, iOS 15.4 and you can easily utilize this. Now, there's also an update when it comes to passkey. So for certain websites, you can actually go to certain websites in Safari or even in other applications that are slowly adding support for this. And it can be on your Apple Watch, it can be on your iPhone or on your Mac. And the way you'll be able to sign in to different applications that require authentication you might be able to sign in with your iPhone by means of face ID for those that have programmed and added support for this so basically it just makes it easier for you now, since alongside this iOS 15.4 update Apple is releasing iPad OS 15.4 I'll be happy to let you know that if you're waiting for universal control that feature has now been added to iPad OS 15.4 and the latest Mac OS update so you can easily use the same peripheral devices to be able to connect those devices together so you can use a mouse to go from your iPad to your Mac and the other way around so that is something that's good and also if you have a new iPhone 13s that have the pro motion display the 120 hertz refresh rate i'll be happy to let you know that apple is slowly adding support for third-party developers be it websites or apps to utilize the pro motion feature so the refresh rate and the scoring experience is going to be enhanced once certain websites or third-party applications utilize this so that is something that's good now there is code within this update that at one point referenced digital id and that digital id could actually be your driver's license so your state driver's license or your state issued id so identification card so perhaps at some point in the future apple is going to actually add support for this and it has to be added by apple and then approved by your region and what if it's going to look something like this so it's going to show your driver's license and the Apple Watch, it's going to look something like this. So it has to be passed, and hopefully, they are able to add this and your country or region will be able to process this quite quickly so that is something that's good now this update has also introduced a new feature that allows you for tap to pay and it's going to be for those supported iPhones so not all devices that support iOS 15 are going to be supported and that is something that you need to keep an eye out for and it's going to help merchants quite a bit now if you go into your settings and then go to to where it says safari so safari and then go all the way down to where it says advanced and go to experimental features and you go all the way down you'll be able to see that we have now a section that says reset to defaults now if you changed quite a lot of settings and you don't know what you've changed and you want to just put your safari back to default then that is how you are going to do it now i keep opening this page because i want to show you some upcoming updates on air tags so basically on this page apple is telling us that air tags were designed to help people locate other personal belongings keyword personal so not track other people or other people's properties and unfortunately some people have been abusing the air tags to track other people so you can see that Apple here is mentioning that they are going to be working with law enforcement in your region to try and bring those culprits to justice. And there's going to be like an update that's going to be coming, which is going to be advancements to uh, AirTags and the Find My Network. Now, it could be a firmware update to the AirTags and an update to the Find My Network. So we'll be able to see what those changes are with time. Now, 
those are most of the new features and new changes that came with this update so hopefully you'll be able to update your device and if you have an ipad you'll be able to enjoy universal control now that's about it for me guys when it comes to ios 15.4 some of the changes that you can look forward to when you do update your device so as always if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub will be great stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace